Good evening, humans. Turn Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Guyver 1 Ultimate Edition figure from Figma. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure is positively gorgeous, and as someone who's been waiting a long time for a Guyver figure, that makes me very happy. <laughs> so, yeah, just some excellent, excellent details here. As you can see, the sculpt is pretty much right on point. Um, you know, we get the, uh, the lines on the kind of undersuit, that the unarmored part of the suit, then the armored part of the suit, nice and clean, kind of a nice semi-gloss going on there. We get kind of the tubes, not kind of, we actually have the tubes coming from the side. Um, this head, the mask, face, head sculpt, whatever you want to call it, is just beautiful, absolutely as it should be. Some very nice metallic pieces here for the kind of, kind of more bulbous pieces. Uh, then we get, you know, a little bit of the purple dashed in. Then we get the translucent purple eyes with that bit of silver behind it to give it some extra reflection. Just positively gorgeous. And uh, yeah, we got some nice line work going on as well to just accentuate all of those lines in the armor itself. That kind of silver gunmetal comes back here at the belt or the, uh, you know, the hip piece. And again, more just fine, clean work and, uh, you know, just lines tastefully done here and there. Um, at first I thought there was some shading, but really the, the way they did the sculpt, it catches the light nicely, it creates nice shadows. So uh, really just could not ask for more going on here in terms of sculpt. Uh, you know, not a lot of paint, but they don't need it. Again, it's, you know, black plastic, then this kind of teal plastic and uh, yeah, just gorgeous all around. They pretty much did a fan perfect point uh, or perfect uh, sculpt here with the uh, points themselves, uh, which do have a little bit of pliability, still be very, very careful there. Uh, as you can see, they just come to just the point they should. Just fantastic, just amazing looking figure. Great load out of accessories here, so let's not waste any time. Jumping right in for hands, we do get a pair of fists right out of the box. Then we get a left uh, hand holding a piece of the mouth guard of the actual helmet, which is awesome. Uh, it's kind of on its own separate little peg here. Obviously, you just take it off and that's how you get it on the figure. There's that. Then we get a whole set of hands. I love that they do the tree. So we get a uh, pair of gripping hands. We get a pair of splayed out or uh, kind of grasping, grappling hands. We get a pair of splayed out hands and then we get a pair of chopping hands. Love that they do that. More fig more figures companies need to do this. Uh, so we get that. Then we get two different uh, face plates. So obviously we get the full complete face plate, and then we get Sho Fukumachi with the damaged face. Obviously goes with that left hand pulling off the piece of the mouth. Right, obviously on the opposite side here. So fantastically done there. Then we get. Um, not only the shorter kind of forearm spikes, but we do get the longer ones as well. Again, um, you know, got, they have a little bit of give, but definitely very fragile, so be careful. You can see the little peg hole there. It tells you left or right. Then we get Unit G. So very much with the main figure itself, we get that really nice sculpt with the black piece under there and then the kind of the teal armor going on that really nice shade of kind of gunmetal silver for the centerpiece. So very, very nice there. Uh, then of course we get a Figma stand. So just says Figma, you can see base there, and then the arm plugs into that. Uh, finally, we do get, I didn't take this out yet, but we do get a spare, um, a wrist joint, I think that is. But uh, you know, obviously our swivel hinge swivel. Uh, and then of course, a Figma bag, though I would definitely recommend keeping this in the tray, especially with the head and the forearms. So that will do it for accessories. The articulation here is absolutely fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, the balance is not as much, but part of that is, you know, just the, the form factor of the figure. Um, even with the stand, it's actually kind of hard to get in, this, in the balanced kicking pose, but uh, the stand actually helps a lot. So as you can see, there we are. Um, so we're gonna get rid of this and kind of get into the finer points here of the articulation. So there's a lot to go over. So we do have a ball joint coming from the body into the head. Um, we have a separate neck piece as well. So uh, we're looking up pretty nicely, not all the way up. Uh, definitely be careful as well. As you can see, 
uh, we do have these two little pieces that are connecting from the um, you know, kind of base of the collarbone here up into the neck. Um, so we do get some nice down though, and we do get rotation, of course. Uh, not so much on the tilt, unfortunately, but then we get some back and forth from the neck, uh, not so much side to side. Then we get a little bit of uh, butterfly joint, so much more forward, a little bit of back. We get a lot of rotation here at this shoulder pad and uh not sure exactly how that it looks like a ball joint uh, so that kind of gets out of the way so you can come up into a perfect t which is very nice we do have a bicep swivel we do have double jointed elbows so we can go all the way in half we do have that swivel hinge swivel here at the wrist so you can go anywhere you want and they allowed plenty of room so you can definitely get some pretty deep poses there then we come to the diaphragm and uh or the chest actually though so something i didn't show off in aesthetics uh, these do fold out and we do see those eye pieces so really nicely done uh, nice translucency over the sculpt there as well to give it some very beautiful depth uh, we get sculpt in there as well so those just fold out and they just fold back in then we get a ball joint at the diaphragm we actually get a very nicely hidden standard ab crunch and then another ball joint at the waist which gives us a ton of crunch a pretty nice arch back, not as much as I would have expected here. Uh, and then some insane side to side. So uh, as you can see that ball joint up in there. So excellent there. Um, the hips do come out. Uh, so not so much a drop down, but a drop side, which is very, very interesting. Uh, doesn't really allow it to do anything crazy in that regard. And you're gonna be running into these. Um, so if you really want to get your kicks, you're gonna have to kind of do a spread eagle sort of thing, <laughs> but you can get those those splits in a way. Uh, oh, which actually reminds me, uh, as pointed out in the directions, the arms do come out a little bit. Actually, mine aren't going crazy there, but they uh, there's a little bit of give there. So there's that. Then we do have actual thigh swivel, kind of more of a standard deal. We have double jointed knees, which come to here. And then for the feet, we do get some rotation. We are in kind of a ball joint sort of situation down there. We get some really nice point with how they have allowed with the sculpt. Some very nice forward. Some actually like very generous rocker considering get, again, all we got going down there and then a toe hinge. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparison series with some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Giver 1 Ultimate Edition figure from Figma is that this figure absolutely kicks ass. I've, you know, my my love for the Giver concept and design definitely started with that American not movie from the 90s, uh, as I'm sure probably same for many of you. And uh, you know, I I've yet to read the manga. I totally need to because I I definitely love all the panels I've seen and kind of the again just the the deeper concept the actual concept um, but honestly this figure just lives up to everything I hoped it would be and uh, not only that it definitely kind of has a different feel I don't have a ton of experience with Figma figures but this surpasses all of them pretty heavily it surpasses some SH figure arts it's just the really nice fluid articulation where there is there there is some um, a little bit of hindrance here and there and you definitely have to be careful especially with some of the like kind of pointier parts here at the head and the, sh the uh forearms um so definitely be careful it requires a little more care a little more work than some other figures do but i think it's absolutely worth it and uh yeah absolutely recommend it to you if this appeals to you on any level i think it's worth the money so uh yeah, that being said, I'll have link, a link or two in the description uh, for you to pick this up if you are interested because it's available on various online resources. And uh, that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's escape the world for a while and just look at some beautiful plastic. Um, but at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. Hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours Stay weird, Simeons.